Otai Mountain Truck Trail is an off-road adventure route through the Otai Mountain Wilderness, a nearly 17,000-acre expanse of rugged terrain in the San Ysidro Mountains of southernmost San Diego County along the U.S.-Mexico border. The area offers opportunities for hiking and mountain biking, but is particularly popular among the off-roading community. You can stay on mellow gravel roads that are suitable for your average SUV or tackle some of the more challenging technical off-road sections that require more capable off-road vehicles. In this guide, I'll provide an overview of the trail network and wilderness area and share some of my favorite sections. Stay tuned until the end of the video and I'll tell you where to get some of the best tacos in San Diego near one of the trailheads. Also, I'll put a link in the description below to our in-depth trail guide on OutdoorSoCal.com, which goes into more detail. The trail network has three primary entrance and exit points. The most popular place to start, and the one I typically use, is the northernmost entrance, which is next to Pio Pico RV Resort and Campground, 2.7 miles northeast of Lower Otai Lake, off Otai Lakes Road. The campground has a well-outfitted camp store near the entrance. As with any backcountry trip, make sure you have enough water and food, in case of an emergency. This entrance has a gate which is often closed. If it's locked, you'll need a combination for the lock that is labeled P. You can get the code from the ranger station at the entrance to the campground. The kiosk, not the camp store. This section of road is called Minnewawa Truck Trail and climbs from Pio Pico up the mountain to Doghouse Junction, an intersection of the three major roads in the area. Along the way, you'll take in some great views and come to the first optional technical section of trail, a steep hill with an entry ledge and covered in loose rock. You'll want a capable off-road vehicle for this one. At an elevation of 3,300 feet, Doghouse Junction offers terrific views to the south, and on a clear day, you can see well into Mexico. From here, you can either head east towards the small town of Dulzura, or head southwest towards the town of Otay Mesa. The southwest route follows a ridge line, and while the road is well maintained and presents few technical challenges, the precipitous shelf roads can be white knuckle driving in places. There are a few optional side trails that are a bit technical, but nothing too challenging. If you head this way, it's worth checking out the ruins of some bunkers that are just off the road, an abandoned army installation built during World War II in case of a Japanese attack on the mainland. If you continue along this route, you'll eventually exit in Otai Mesa, near several correctional facilities and industrial plants. The road that heads east from Doghouse Junction offers a greater variety of terrain. If you are looking for a mellow experience, you can stay on the main trail, which will eventually bring you to Marin Valley Road, near the South Bay Rod and Gun Club. If you're looking for more challenging off-road terrain, there are a lot of options in this area. I can't cover them all in this video, but I'll share some of the highlights. The first one you'll come to is Upper Ridge Trail, which begins just east of Doghouse Junction as a split to the right of the main road. The route follows a steep ridge and eventually hooks back to the left to reconnect with the main road.
Continuing east, you'll come to an intersection where you can either head south along the main trail or turn north into Sycamore Canyon. The Sycamore Canyon area is crisscrossed with dirt roads and off-road trails that are a lot of fun to explore. If you are looking for some legit off-road terrain, there is a challenging rock crawling section through one of the canyons and a burly incline known as Suicide Hill. After exploring the Sycamore Canyon area, we head back to the main truck trail. Heading south for about half a mile brings you to a junction. Stay straight on the main trail and you'll come to Marin Valley Road from which you can head north towards Dalzura to leave the trail network. The right fork will bring you to Lower Ridge Trail, another scenic off-road route that follows a ridge line to the south. <laughs> At the end of the ridge trail, you can hook back to the north on a gravel road that will merge with Marin Valley Road to leave the area. Due to the proximity to the U.S.-Mexico border, the San Ysidro Mountains have a heavy border patrol presence, so don't be surprised if you see their trucks on the trails. Also, keep in mind that much of the landscape surrounding the trails is designated wilderness, set aside for the protection of habitat. Stay on existing roads and trails to protect the sensitive habitat and to ensure that we can continue off-roading in this area in the future. Like I said before, I'll put a link in the description below to our detailed guide to the Otai Mountain Truck Trail Network on OutdoorSoCal.com. I'll also include links to information on other off-road trails in the area. As for the tacos I mentioned, they are found at the Mini Mart in the town of Delzura, a little under four miles from the Rod and Gun Club. Hey.